What's up, Madden 19 fans? My name is Cody, and for those of you that don't know, I used to do a ton of Madden content, and uh, I took a little bit of a break, and I am coming back, so this is kind of a welcome back video. I want to share a couple things that I've been doing, and I want to share a couple of things that I'm going to be doing, as well as show you a little bit peek of my salary cap lineup. Um, so for those of you that don't know, I took a little bit of a break from recording content. I didn't necessarily take a massive break from playing Madden. I took about a, I take about a two to three month break every year uh, in the summer from Madden, uh, and and so I was in, in the process. I ended up moving, and a couple of different things went my went uh, changed in my world. And so, anyways, I just didn't have uh, have a ton of ability to be able to get content up consistently. It was in a lot of different types of change in my life and so uh, as we kind of got stabilized through the fall um, what I'm excited about is to get back into it and so with the new year approaching I figured it'd be a good time I've, I've actually feel really good about my game right now I feel like I'm a pretty decent player and so um, I wanted to get back into sharing content and tips and strategies but I also wanted to kind of take a little bit of a different approach with my channel I think one of the things that I do really well is I take big hard to understand concepts and break them down in a simple way for people to understand and so I want to do a little bit more of that I want to explain uh, and kind of and I, one of the things I'm I feel like I'm just really gifted at is I, I'm really hungry to learn I'm hungry to learn from anybody and um, a lot of people will say in Madden uh, they'll say well oh, you, you can't you have to be original you have to be original and I just don't believe that that's true because if you look at the NFL there's not a whole lot of originality. I mean, uh, if you really study the NFL, you'll find that there's key concepts that are executed to perfection over and over and over again. And the team that executes the best and has the best game management, the best clock management, typically wins. And I believe that that is kind of the shift that we're going to uh, in Madden. You're seeing that a lot with the way that um, a lot of people now pretty much run Gun Bunch. I mean, I've been in Gun Bunch since I think Madden 12. Uh, but now a lot of people are getting into Gun Bunch, and so um, it's not about originality anymore. What it really comes down to is execution. So uh, I'm excited to kind of study uh, a little bit of the competitive players and kind of maybe break down some of what they're doing to try to help you guys understand why. Um, I'll give you a good example. One of my favorite players to study is uh, Michael Skimbo. And for those of you that know, uh, that don't know, Michael Skimbo just won. Uh, he's won over $200,000, I believe, over the course of the last two Maddens. And this year, he just won the first major tournament, the Madden Classic, uh, which is basically classic Madden regular teams. Won with the Kansas City Chiefs. And he won it in large part by using uh, a couple of key plays very, very well. And uh, you know, I think I think what I noticed with Skimbo more than anything, and, and even with Problem, uh, to that perspect, to that extent, it's not necessarily about the 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 play that they run. It's not a money play. I think a lot of people in Madden they want to look for a money play or a money route. It's not necessarily about the play. It's about the whole entirety of an offense and the whole entirety of a defense and finding a couple of good plays that really work well together and then learning the execution so that you can execute it in such a really profound way. So I think that's something that I want to kind of get more into and dive into more. Uh, but anyways, before I do that, I want to talk, uh, before this cut this video off, uh, so if you're interested in stuff like that, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, for those of you that uh, want to stick around for the next couple minutes, I want to share kind of my lineup, some of the things that I feel are important on both sides of the ball. Uh, I'm playing a lot of salary cap right now. I've actually won, I think, 22 games in a row. And so I'm excited to share with you uh, some of the things that I've been learning. Um, the first thing is speed is king in this year's game. Uh, it's not king in every year. It's king in most years, but it's certainly king in this year's game. And so you want to have the fastest uh, wide receivers possible. And so as you see here, I have Randy Moss. He is a monster. Um, he's definitely worth when I first bought him, I was questioning whether or not he was worth what I was paying, the cap and all that. But if you really get into his statistics, um, the thing that makes him worth it is not just his speed rating, but it's spectacular catch. Um, I believe that the two most important ratings for a wide receiver in this year's game is speed and spectacular catch. And so he kind of checks the box on both of those. Um, and then I have, so I have Randy Moss, and if if he can't afford his latest version the version right before that is okay too he's, he's gonna be fine but this is the budget guy that I want to talk about this Deion Sanders right here I think is one of the most underrated underrated or maybe just assume that everybody has him he's like 90,000 coins so for those of you that have like a mid-level team you'll be able to afford him but he has 96 speed which is really 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 good for that type of coinage 
And so uh, I encourage all of you to go out and get a Deion Sanders. He's my slot receiver. He does just fine. And he also, uh, people don't really understand, don't see this um, a lot, but he has 91 spectacular catch. So you can certainly go up and aggressive catch with Deion Sanders and not not feel like you're going to drop it every single time. He will come down with it. Um, I have this Ricky Williams as my running back. I don't really use a running back as mu- a, a ton. I use him in goal line situations and like maybe just for change of pace. So I don't have a great running back. Um, I can upgrade him, uh, as you can see, but... This is just a very. This is mainly so that I meet the cap. I lowered him significantly. I have Michael Vick, and I use the go deep chemistry so that I power him up. He has 94 deep accuracy, 98 throw power, 94 speed uh, because I put sprinter on him as well. Um, I don't really believe in. I don't think any of the ability chemistries are that great this year, including the route specialist. Uh, most of the routes I feel like I already have in my playbook. Uh, and I so, so I save some cap through that. Uh, I have Tyreek Kill here, 97 speed, 92 spectacular catch. As you can see, um, he's not as good as Randy Moss, but he's still really good. Um, he's still very effective, 97 speed. And I'm right now working on my uh, getting J- Coach John Madden. When I get Coach John Madden, I'll be able to uh, get those speeds up just a little bit more. And then the last player I want to talk about is uh, Jimmy Graham. So I think speed is certainly one of the most important things that you can have on your offense. If you're like, if you like never run with your quarterback at all, like at all, I would recommend getting a Dan Marino because Michael Vick does have a couple of accuracy issues, but not a ton. Dan Marino, I have never, I don't think I've ever overthrown a ball with him. So I really do like Dan Marino, and I actually kind of every now and then go back and forth between using him and Michael Vick. But this Jimmy Graham is the guy that I want to spend the next couple of uh, seconds here talking about. So Jimmy Graham, uh, one of the reasons that you like him is because in the red zone, high point curls are very effective this year. And so he has 98 spectacular catch. He's six foot seven. What he's going to be able to do is he's going to be able to high point balls with the best of them. I mean, I really feel like if you throw him a high point, he's going to have a 75% uh chance of coming down with the ball. High point is just simply uh, holding down the left button or the le- L1 button and then bullet passing it to to that uh, receiver. So in this case it would be Jimmy Graham. And they're very, very effective in the red zone. So you put him on a curl once he once he kind of sits there you hold LB, high point it it's very effective. Uh, pretty much I feel confident even throwing it at people's users. I mean it's really good this year. So uh, anyways that's my offense. So, the, so big picture, the things that you need to focus on are speed and Speed and, in my opinion, spectacular catch at receiver. At running back, it's spin move. Uh, you want to have about an 82, at least an 82 spin move if possible. And at quarterback, it to me, it's all about accuracy un- unless you need a little bit of mobility. And I just feel like Michael Vick, the mobility helps me kind of get out of some dirty, some bad situations. Defense is a little bit different. Uh, defense this year is very difficult, I think. Um, for a variety of different reasons. The first one being that it's very difficult to get pressure in this year's game. But the second one being that zones, because of how good zone coverage was last year, they've kind of nerfed it big time in this year's game. And so it's just not, it's not really, it's just, it's kind of difficult uh, for me anyway. And so what I've done is I've kind of spent heavy on my defense in order to try to make up for that. So um, the first thing that I think very important is speed. Obviously, you want to be able to because you're going to need speed because you're going to need to be able to keep up with those Tyree kills, those Randy Mosses that other people are going to have. And so, I've got Deion Sanders, obviously the best cornerback in the game. Um, if I had the lockdown chemistry, he would have 99 man and 99 zone. I don't value that as much as I value pass rushing. So uh, he's got 97 speed, and like again, once I said, uh, once I get that John Madden, he'll be up to 90. Uh, I think he'll be up to 99. Then I have this kid right here, Jir Alexander. I've actually not been very impressed with this card. Um, I'm actually thinking about selling him. He's 95 speed, but I just feel like he hasn't really done anything to deserve being on my roster, and he takes up a lot of caps. So, uh, but this, but but basically the idea of corners is one of those fast ones. So I have Anthony Brown, Dante Jackson here, and I actually typically would put Ed Reed at middle linebacker uh, because I like to put the middle linebacker in the deep third on a lot of my plays. Um, and he's just he's just a beast. If you take a look at his ratings, this is with Sprinter, but he has 95 speed, 96 zone, 91 man. I mean, he can play pretty much any position on the field, and you can feel confident that he's going to be in the play. And that's why I really like putting him in that middle middle linebacker spot, putting him in the deep blue because he's so fast. He's going to get back there, and he's obviously got all the ratings in the world to make up for uh, any any anything that comes our way. 
Um, I have Ron Parker here. This is just a budget guy. You can put Apke there. You can put any of those budget tier guys there. Uh, but the other thing that I want to tell you, last thing as I close this video, on defense, I really value defensive linemen this year. And having uh, my theory is basically a lot of people are going to tank their offensive line. And so if I can have a really, really good offensive defensive line, they're going to be able to get block sheds and pass rush moves a little bit faster. And I've seen that kind of through. And you'll see that in some of my gameplays that I post later on this week. But anyway, so this Bruce Smith, I just want to show you. Um, we, we do we do the pass rush chemistry, so he gets uh, 99 power moves, 97 finesse moves, and he has sprinter as well, so he's 81 speed, so that's really effective. Uh, I think power moves are the way to go this year. I used to think finesse moves were, but because of the dominance of Lawrence Taylor, it kind of made me change my mind. Lawrence Taylor, by far the best defensive player in the game. He has 99 power moves, 91 speed, 91, 95 finesse moves, 96 block shed, and 94 strength. I mean, he's just a monster, and he is worth every bit of that 92 cap. He is a very, very effective. And then I have this DeMarcus Ware, and he kind of plays backside. It helps uh, kind of contain the quarterback. He does, but he also has good ratings, too. If you take a look at him, he's also going to have that 98 power move, 91 finesse moves. You want to try to have 90 at both, if possible. Um, but there are some budget guys that you can look up on Mudhead. Anyways, guys, that is my lineup. My kicker and punter are not very good. Um, I don't really value that as much as I have in the years past. But anyways, that's my lineup, and I want to just make sure that you are aware that over the course of the next week, we're going to be releasing free offensive scheme, free defensive scheme for you guys, just to say thank you for uh, supporting my channel, and uh, just ask that you would share this channel uh, with anyone that you know that might be interested in some of the videos that I'm about to post. But this channel is going to be solely about, number one, how do we get better at men, how do we, how do we actually play better, um, and then number two, what can we learn from players that are really, really good at Madden? And that, not just me, but a lot of players that I study, players that I look up to. So, uh, anyways, I hope that that excites you. It's really exciting for me to be back, and I'm so excited to engage with you guys. So if you have any questions, uh, please leave them in the comments section below. And I hope you guys have a great New Year's, and I hope that uh, something I said in this video may have sparked some, some thoughts.